You don't have to be a graphic designer to create graphic elements for your publications. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use simple tools and techniques to create graphic background elements that will enhance any publication. I'll start by selecting the quick rectangle from the Quick Shapes flyout. And then I'll click and drag to draw a long rectangle across the top of my page. I'll copy and paste this shape. You can right click and choose the copy and paste commands or use the Ctrl C, Ctrl V shortcuts. Next, I'll return to the Quick Shapes flyout and this time I'll choose the Quick Chevron. I'll position this shape on top of my first rectangle so that it overlaps the upper edge slightly. Now I'll copy and paste this shape and place it on top of the second rectangle. Again, making sure that the edges overlap. Now I'm going to create a stencil effect, cutting out the chevrons from the rectangles. To do this, I click to select the topmost rectangle, press and hold down the shift key, and then click to select the chevron. Now on the arrange toolbar, I expand the Join Outlines flyout and click Subtract. I'll repeat this process on the bottom two shapes. Now I'll add a third chevron between the two cutout shapes. And I'll make this one smaller, dragging its rightmost node to reshape it into two triangles. Now to add some colour. I'm going to apply a gradient fill. I'll start by selecting my first shape and then on the swatches tab I expand the gradient flyout, choose linear and then click to apply a fill. It doesn't matter which fill I choose at this point as I'm going to edit it in the next step. Now on the attributes toolbar I click the fill tool. This exposes the nodes and fill path of the gradient fill. To edit the fill path I just click and drag on the nodes. To change the colours of the nodes, all I have to do is click a node and then click the colour I want to apply. Rather than repeating these steps for the bottom shape, I can just paste the format of the top shape. To do this, I select my filled shape, right click, and click copy. Now select the bottom shape and choose paste format from the edit menu. Now what I have to do is choose my node colours. To remove the outline from the shape, I click the line button and then click the non swatch. I'll also remove the outline from the centre shape. Finally, I'm going to apply a shadow effect to my design. First, I'll select all of the shapes. The Styles tab provides a wide selection of preset object styles that you can apply with a single click. I'll open the Shadows category and apply this preset here. To complete my design, I added artistic text objects for the company name. You can see how this simple design can be adapted to suit a brochure and a business card layout. Why not try making your own graphic elements now? 